Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are back out at Florida Modular Homes in St. Augustine, Florida. Today we're going to be towing a very special Franklin home, which is a very, very special custom made home. This home is called the San Marco. The San Marco is a three bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section modular home. Now before we go on the inside of the home, I always like to take you guys around the outside of the home to get a better view. So of course this is the rear elevation of your home. And right here straight ahead you would have a side porch, but I imagine you could definitely add a uh, back porch if you choose to do so. But the side porch is also a very nice feature as well. Now, like I was saying about this um, home right here, this is a custom made uh, Franklin home, which is called the San Marco. Now, this home was um, especially made for those that have special disabilities or who are physically challenged. But it could be for anyone who's looking for this type of home. So, And this home has some key features on the inside that I wanna show you today that will help someone who is of that would have or that would be physically challenged so i definitely want to show you those features today so right here we're looking on the outside of the home you have a nice front porch right here so let's step up onto the front porch uh, if you are new here my name is steven i do manufactured modular home tours and i also do general manufactured home information videos i invite you to join our family by subscribing and please feel free to like and drop a comment down below so this is a huge, huge front porch. There's plenty of space for furniture or wicker furniture or whatever you want to put out here. So without further ado, let's get started with the tour. I also want to give a special thanks to the general manager for allowing me to record this home. A real quick disclaimer, I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I love to share my personal opinion of all the homes that I view. If you have any additional questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, any information that is available to me will always be down in the description box below for this modular home. Now let's continue the video. So now we're walking into this home this beautiful living room you are greeted with a light and open airy space now keep in mind um, they just uh, finished this house um, as far as putting it together now they're starting the process of you know staging the home it's, which is what you see right here so but I want you all to use your imagination and try to picture your things in this home in this beautiful home so of course this is a living room you have your beautiful stained glass door right there. And one thing I've noticed right off, the front door is definitely much wider than most front doors. So there's plenty of space for someone that has a wheelchair or a walker to get right through the front door. Of course, this home will have the uh, pendant lights and as well as the air vents in the ceilings as well. Over here, you would have your beautiful fireplace. It would be a beautiful stone electric fireplace. Initially, when I first came in here, um, and I was just um, going at normal speed, but I decided, when I looked at the video here, I decided to slow it down by one speed so you guys can get a better look at it because I was moving too fast. So I wanted you guys to get a much better look at it as much as possible. So, like I was saying before, this is the fireplace. I just touched the fireplace. It felt like beautiful, beautiful natural stone. You know, this fireplace reminds me a lot of the other two homes that I saw. But definitely go check those homes out and I will be sure to put them up in the iCard above. You have your beautiful um, scone lights on either side of the fireplace. And as well as the space to hang your um, flat screen TV. So another good pan of the room right here. Right there straight ahead you have plenty of space for an entry table if you choose to add one. And as you notice this home will have beautiful beautiful laminate flooring or laminate wood flooring. 
it goes very well with the um, white walls that they chose to add into this home. You know, usually when I um, look at model homes, they have a lot of different colors on the walls, but this particular one has the classic white, but it goes very well with all the um, dark cabinets and the signature Franklin home drapes that Franklin homes would provide with the home. So here we're now we're looking into the dining room space. Have plenty of space in your dining room. And I absolutely love these uh, back double doors right here that will lead onto the uh, deck or patio that you that you would choose to add onto your home. I love this feature right here. And these two doors have built-in blinds into the glass, so you can adjust the light accordingly as much light as you want to receive in the daytime. Now I thought that was a very nice feature of this um, home. So walking over here, this would be your um, your utility closet that would house your uh, central heat and air conditioning. So your central heat and air conditioning will run right through this closet area right here. And of course you would have your um you know warranty label on the back of the door right there and i also noticed that in the uh, kingsland model that they would have as well in their kingsland model so definitely go check out that video too all right so over here would be your kitchen area now one thing i noticed right off the bat of course there's your beautiful um uh, your beautiful I'm trying to remember the name of it your beautiful pendant lights so right off the bat I notice the countertops are lower to the ground than usual but that's because it's for someone who's you know accessibility for you know wheelchair and of course you have your beautiful uh, sink you have your gooseneck faucet now this was this is not a farmhouse sink. It's just it's just a regular stainless steel sink that would have the gooseneck faucet attached to it. So I like it. It's something a little it's something a little different this time, other than you know your modern day farmhouse sink or stainless steel sink. Again, you have your beautiful pendant lights. You have your um, can recess lights in the ceiling in the kitchen. And you would also have a plug-in outlet on the other side of the um, island right here as well. Let's check out the uh, space right here. Now, I was surprised. I was not expecting this. Something told me to open that door. And sure enough, you would have a, another hidden pantry. Another hidden pantry in this beautiful home. You know, these hidden pantries, they always take me by surprise, you know, sometimes, you know, I laugh about it, but, um, they always take me by surprise, you know, because, you know, you usually don't think about it, but, you know, it's right there when you need it, right there. So let's check it out. Yeah, plenty of space in this pantry. They carry the beautiful crown molding in the uh, pantry area. You have your wooden shelves. You also have your wood floors inside the pantry as well. So you got plenty of storage space in here. Now whatever kind of um, food items you want to put in here. Canned goods, flour, pasta, uh, peanut butter and jelly, um, coffee, tea, you know, whatever you want to put in here. It's really up to you. All right, so let's check out the other parts of the kitchen. You have more cabinet space right here. So storage is definitely not an issue in this kitchen at all. You know, these dark cabinets really gives it that uh, luxurious, rich feel. Now remember, if you don't like dark cabinets, you do not have to get it. You know, remember, this is the model home. You know, this is not the home that you would get when you order it. So I'm gonna get y'all a view of the, another view of the uh, ceiling area. You got plenty of space above for decorations and decor if you choose to put decorations on top of your cabinets but I really love these um, 
low countertops you know for someone who's of you know special um you know physically challenged let's check out the utility room right here there's plenty of space right here for, in your utility room for um storage You have a lot of natural light coming in through that door over there and that door would actually leave onto the uh, side porch that I showed you on the outside at the beginning of this video tour but we'll got there in just a second really quickly let's take a look at here over where you would have your washer and dryer hookup so over in this space you would keep your washer and dryer hookup area get you all a good slow pan right there and of course, you have plenty of space to um, store your items and as well as, um, you know, if you want to naturally dry your clothes, you can just hang it right there on the, you know, hook to dry. So plenty of space in this um, utility room. And right here, you would have your control buttons right there for your tankless water heater, which was on the outside of the back of the home that I showed at the beginning. So that'd be controls for your tankless water heater. One more good look at the uh, shelving space right there. All right, so let's check out the back um, porch right here. So this would be the side porch of the home. So there's plenty of space out here on the side porch. You know, for anybody that has uh, physically challenged disabilities, you know, you could add like a ramp onto the side porch right here or you can add a ramp onto the um, front porch as well so the option is there now I really love the craftsmanship of the uh, the ceiling of the back porch love the craftsmanship so there's plenty of space out here where you can just um, have your morning coffee or you know you can take in the nice cool summer breezes Get y'all a good slow pan of this uh, beautiful side porch. Now over there straight ahead that you're seeing over there, uh, that's actually a another new um, model that they're actually putting together. But from what the um, uh, manager told me, it'll be ready in uh, several weeks um, from the time that I recorded this video. So I'll be going back very soon to check that home out for you guys and see what that home has to offer. Okay, so let's move along back inside the house. So let's go check out and see what the rest of the house has to offer. All right, so taking another good look here at the kitchen. There's something I definitely wanted to point out that I didn't notice before, before I uh, looked at the back porch area. Now underneath the sink right here, you would notice there is a cutout. It would have a cutout underneath the sink. Uh, it's especially made for a uh, wheelchair, for someone who's in a wheelchair. So uh, put in space for someone to, um, you know, do their dishes or, you know, do whatever they have to do. You know, I thought that was a very, very nice feature to have. You now, so anybody with uh, special disabil uh, disabilities, you know, they could, um, have freedom and move around this house. You know, if you have family, you can use this for, um, you know, a son or a daughter or, you know, um, in-law or whatever you want to do. Or if you're single, you could use this as a as an office or a TV room. It's really up to you.
Let's check out the closet right here. There's plenty of space in your closet. You know, one thing I've always noticed about Franklin homes, they would always have the wood shelving in the closet, as opposed to other manufacturers who would have the, um, the wired metal shelving in the closets. But Franklin, they have the wooden shelving in all of their closets. In my thoughts and opinion, that's, that's a standard feature of Franklin homes. Very, very custom. So let's take a look at the other guest bedroom over here. This is the second guest bedroom. Now, as I was viewing this room, this one's definitely very identical as far as size and dimensions with the other bedroom. Again, you have plenty of space in this bedroom. And this bedroom can pretty much speak for itself. So let's take a look at the closet right here. You have plenty of space in this closet also. Another good look at this room. So let's go check out the guest bathroom. Let's see what the guest bathroom has to offer. So this is your hallway guest bathroom. Another thing I've noticed about this bathroom, it also has the low countertops. On the side, you have plenty of drawer space and as well as the cabinet space underneath the sink. Hello there, there's me. You can always have to say hello to you guys. Okay, so you have your um, vanity lighting and as well as your wood trim around your mirrors. And of course you would have your porcelain sink. You would also have a cabinet above your um, commode area for um, additional storage space. Now there's your commode right there of course, obviously. Um, another thing I noticed about this, this has the handrails and you'll see this throughout the um, bathroom so that's a perfect feature right there you have a handrail above your commode area and as well as another handrail directly across from the uh, commode area next to the um, garden tub shower combo and of course straight ahead that would be your um, garden tub and shower combo so let's go check out the master bedroom if you made it this far in a video I invite you to join our family by subscribing and like these videos it definitely helps with the channel and please feel free to drop a comment down below all right so let's check out this um, beautiful master bedroom right off I noticed they have like a two-tone colored walls in here you have like a gray um, colored walls that matches the uh, drapes and as well as the white crown molding baseboards now I forgot to mention that earlier in the video that this house has um, baseboards and I love those um, transom windows up there but we'll take a close look at those in just a second. But look at all the natural light that comes into this bedroom. Now, like I said before, this house was just being completed. So, you know, when you go to view these homes, sometimes you see stuff like this. So, you know, but I really like you to use your imagination. Again, I love the beautiful um, wood flooring. It goes very well with the um, two-tone colored walls in this master bedroom. Again, you have your transom windows on either side of this wall. Me personally, I'd probably put my king size bed amongst, amongst that wall over there. But it's really up to you how, you're, how you would rearrange this bedroom. Another good look at your bedroom here. Let's check out the master closet real quickly and then we'll head into the master bath. So this is your master closet. Now, 
if you are a person that love to be organized or if you're organized savvy this would be a perfect closet for you you have plenty of shelving for shoes uh, purses um, uh, bags um, you got plenty of hanger space for clothing as well or you know whatever you want to put in here This closet can pretty much speak for itself. I don't have to say much. You have your beautiful wood laminate flooring in the closet as well. And up above right here, you would have your attic access too. So the access to your attic would be in your master closet in this model home. So pretty much is out of sight, out of mind. All right, so let's go check out the master bathroom. So now we're entering the master bathroom and right off, uh, you would notice the countertops are also low, lower to the floor. You know for um, accessibility and you also have cutouts underneath the counter for wheelchair accessibility as well get you all a good look at that space right there of course you have your um, beautiful floors and you also have a um, area right there where you can get ready for today right in the middle I really love these countertops they match the countertops in the kitchen of course you have your um, mirrors you have your um, Vanity lighting. And your porcelain sinks. Another good look at your vanity area right here. And this bathroom will also feature a transom window above the mirrors and the vanity and as well as a recessed lighting. Overall very impressed with this area of the bathroom. And of course you have your drawer space as well. We can't forget that. Over here this would be your commode area or your toilet area. And of course I noticed right away it has the handles um, above the that area as well. And of course you would have your um, overhead cabinet right there. You also have space over here in the corner to put whatever you want that's behind the door. Plenty of space. So over here you would have your shower area. You have a place right there where you can, you know, sit down and, you know, do do whatever you need to do. So, very very comfortable shower. So this master bathroom does not have a tub. It only has a an accessible shower. So, you know anybody who's physically challenged, this would be perfect for you. And of course, there's a space over there where you can put anything you want. And as well, you have plenty of hand barred rails right there in front of you. So you got plenty of handrails in this um, master bathroom, you know, for accessibility. Overall, very, very impressed with this master bathroom. Very impressed with this home. So let's go back into the living room and close out the video. All right, you guys, if you're interested about inquiring or purchasing this modular home, 
The dealership's information and website links will be down in the description box. This is Stephen with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.